this is a ceramic hanging with birds on it and uh, you know uh, one day I noticed something funny going on if you look up in the left hand corner you'll see on that branch you'll see that there's a third bird up there and that one's not made out of ceramic that's alive So I decided to investigate and what do you think I found? A little tiny nest. This nest is about an inch and a half in diameter. So I got my ladder out and, I, and went around the other side and climbed up there to take a much better look at this thing and there it is, a nice little nest. I put my fingers on this thing just to give you a perspective as to how small it really is. When I say it's an inch and a half in diameter, that's pushing it a little bit. I don't even think it's that big. A few days later, I found that there's an egg in there. Now, if you could, could see the, the mother bird and the egg, you'd wonder how she could pass anything that size. And sure enough, another day and a half later, another egg appeared. So now there's two of them there. And this is Mommy. This is a hummingbird. And uh, she's perched there in a tree waiting for me to move and get out of the way so she can go back to her eggs. But, uh, you know, I'm being a little stubborn about it. So I took a nice close-up shot of her, then went into the house, and she did what she's supposed to do. There she is now, happy, sitting on her eggs, keeping them nice and warm so they can hatch in a few days. About a week later, I noticed something. That is not an egg anymore. That looks like a little beak sticking up. And sure enough, there you are, two nice little chickies, all covered in fuzz. Aren't they cute? Okay boys, wake up, it's chow time. Now at this point I'm going to give you a real close up. And of course, and if this doesn't frighten you to death, nothing else ever will. Just watch how she shoves that beak down that little chickie's throat all the way down. Talk about a sore swallower. Wow. You know, I really prefer our method of feeding a baby. Boy, I wouldn't want something like that shoved down my throat. No way, Jose. I definitely would not want that. All right, now she's overfed and then she's gonna sit on him and keep him nice and warm and snuggly. Now this is another feeding. Are you Look at what she's doing to that poor little chick. God, it's unbelievable. It's no wonder she can put that much beak down his throat. Look at how long those throats are. I mean, that, that throat is longer than what the bird is itself, because he's only as big as the tip of your pinky. Oh well, whatever makes them happy, I guess. That's good enough with me. Well, a few days have gone by and now this guy has got feathers on and everything else. And I've also noticed that there's only one chick left in the nest. One has perished. And uh, this is the way it is. The strongest survive, the weak goes, goes away. And um, this guy now is the one that survived and he's been doing this several times a day. He's practicing his flying 
getting his strength up and his wings and um, he won't be long now before he goes. Now going back to what I was saying, only one bird can live in this nest because the nest is not big enough for two. So the strongest of the two will survive. And mom decides which one that is and she just stops feeding the weaker one and uh, he, he goes away. And um, I don't know, this is I guess the way you keep the species real strong and, and, and going because you just save the strongest ones. And it's kind of cruel, but that's it. Well, here's this guy now, he's getting ready to fly. And um, actually, he flies the coop on uh, Tuesday, April 22nd. And that's this afternoon. This is one of his last feedings that mom is gonna give him because after this, he's gonna be gone. This was a very interesting learning curve for me, seeing how birds survive. Okay, this is the nest. Let's show you. Now, if you look, you'll see when I start pointing it out to you. The dead chick is right there in the center, right here. He's the one that perished, and that's where he is, all shriveled up and dried up and so forth. And, uh, well, that is it. This is the end of my uh, show, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.